Hey, hey, what's up you guys? My name's Clayton. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be doing something that truly runs in our blood. I made this channel to do all sorts of stuff that runs in our blood from raising your own food, catching your own food, hunting your own food, even growing your own food. Today we've been raising these quail. They're about 10 weeks old and it, the time has come. We're gonna go ahead and process them, clean them, and cook them for you guys. So this is the first time that I've actually, well hell, first time I've actually even ate quail, let alone processed them. So I'm gonna bring you guys along and uh, show you how it goes. But first, I gotta go feed the pigs, get a couple of things done around here, and then we're gonna get to processing. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. You guys are getting big. Hey, hey. hey. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, big old big I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Grab one the roosters, babe. time try to catch them with this thing now these are all of our males we have five males in here we started out and we we got like how many eggs did we get uh 60 we had 60 eggs we had like 30 hatch so we have our breeders over there in the pen the top was going to be like egg layers and the bottom breeders but for right now they're all breeders and i think we have what five five females to two males males and uh, we had some leftover males, so we went ahead and put them in here. We've been incubating the eggs. We have a ton of little chicks, and those are all gonna be meat birds. So, let's see if we can catch these things. Get out of that. Without them flying off.
contestant number one. That's the one that had the messed up beak. Yeah, he's got a messed up beak. I'm surprised he survived. All right, let's go try this. All right, just got him all cleaned up. Everything out of him. The lungs you have to pull out. They kind of were a little bit harder to get out. But he's in there, sir. That was a, I like that way of doing it though. Definitely cut the head off. Cut them off here at the knees. Cut the wings off. Cut down the backbone. Heck yeah. Inerts. That works. Let's see. All right, we're gonna fly through these fuses. We all bleed the same sun. Woo! Did 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 did. Well, that, that, that was easier. <laughs> <He's a net. laughs> he said, I will be happy to give you myself. I know. They've been picking on each other. The backs of their head are picked from feathers. They've been fighting. They're all males, so. got done cleaning these things before we head inside i figured i'd show you all the little broder setup we got i mean right now we have like how many eggs incubating oh probably, God. probably uh, good to like yeah 80 to 100 80 to 100 mm -hmm. and then we have i don't even know how many in here so we'll take you in there and show them to you bigger ones that are what two weeks old probably yeah two weeks and those are one week and then those are a week <laughs> well those turn will be up and well technically you can start eating them at seven weeks but uh i think th those are a little bit older i've been trying to get everything situated and we have like one week old and two weeks old because we're having to do them in like increments because our breeders we only get what 30 a week yeah something like that 35 and you can only let them sit without heat or being incubated for like you know roughly i think like five days so, so we're having to do batches of like 30 so uh, we just put some in the incubator out here and we'll probably move these one week olds with the two week olds and put the new chicks in here and hopefully the older ones don't kill them. We'll see. All right, let's go figure out how we're gonna cook these things.
All right, you guys, we just got in the house, got the quail ready. We figured out how we're gonna cook these things. We're gonna do a pomegranate orange juice grilled quail. And the pomegranate orange juice, she's gonna explain it, all the ingredients, something recipe we found online, we're gonna try it out. And uh, it's like a baste. So we're gonna see how this turns out. Let's see, see the ingredient. All right, so we're gonna do a, a one and a half cups of pomegranate juice. And then we're gonna add a cup of orange juice. And then it calls for um, two tablespoons of your red sweet chili. Um, it's like in the Asian section. And then it calls for local honey, which we do have, um, which is a half a cup. We did a, maybe a tad bit less. Well, we only had five quail. Yeah, so. And I think they had like eight. <laughs> and then it's just a base, so. We probably could have done less, but we just figured follow the directions and it says to simmer on high so you just bring it to a boil yeah. and let it simmer oh we got some uh ginger it said uh ground ginger but we like to use fresh whenever we can so it's two-thirds so While we're doing that, I'm gonna start getting these quail ready, seasoned up. And, uh, oh yeah. All right, now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna spray them down with some cooking oil, <laughs> some cooking spray. We just have this freaking canola oil. <laughs> uh, spray them down, trying not to get it everywhere. The recipe oh. called for Duck fat. Duck fat in a spray can. I ain't never seen that, <laughs> but we're gonna have to keep our eyes open for it. So we got one side sprayed with that. And instead of pork rub, this is what I like to use on all my Boston butts and all my pork. Get it Ace Hardware, it's awesome. You know, sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Just do both sides. Then I did fully skin these. I didn't pluck them. Maybe next time we're going to uh, try plucking them. Oh, and uh, what we're talking about next time. If you guys have any ideas, if you guys have ate quail, drop a comment, let me know. You don't have to put the entire recipe in there, but you know, just give me some ideas on different ways to cook them. Cause- We're about we're, to have a ton. We're about to have like a hundred of them. So, if you have any ideas on how to cook them, any, any of your favorite ways, let me know. And I'll definitely try it out. Yeah, because there's not a ton online. It's like yeah. baked. That was it. Yeah. Which is kind of boring. <laughs> I like unique stuff. So, orange juice, pomegranate, we're going to try it. All right, we got these done. Go out there. Sweet potatoes almost done, corn's almost done. The base is almost there. So uh, I think let's walk out there and uh, get these on the grill. All right, gonna throw them on the trigger. No pellet grill. Don't give me no crap about a pellet grill now. I ain't got time for a, for a wood burning smoker. Busy man. Got them on here at 350. Gonna do one side for about five minutes. Flip them, baste them. Do about another five minutes. Flip them again. And just bring them up to about 165. And uh, time to eat. And bam, just like that, before and after, if you, if you saw the thumbnail. <laughs> we got some sweet taters, 
a orange juice, pomegranate, basted, grilled quail, and some corn on the cob. It's gonna be good. <laughs> let's taste this thing. All right, let's taste this. Get some sweet potatoes with butter and brown sugar. <laughs> you know you can't go wrong with that. Mm -mm. Some sweet corn is always awesome. <laughs> I can pull one of these legs off here. <laughs> That's good. No, that 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 base. that base is better than I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. I'm not a, a huge fan of stuff like that, but orange juice and pomegranate and all that crap. But no, that's fire. That's good. That's really good. They did take longer. Mm -hmm. They ended up taking like 10 minutes longer to get to 165 for the internal temperature. But I mean, for the leg, which that, that got probably way over yeah, 165. Little... So the breast... Ooh, Should be because it's smaller. That breast is a lot thicker. Yeah. Yes, it should. So I mean, of course, the legs are going to be a little bit more done. Yeah, the breast is tender, more tender. I could survive on it. Mm-hmm. No, I'm kind of shocked. I was worried about grilling them. You know, because I was worried about them getting really dry. No, I mean, I would. I mean, forget chicken. <laughs> I can live off this. Okay. Well, it's supposed to be way better for you, too. Mm -hmm. They say some people, they'll fry them and they'll eat the, the bones and all. I don't know about that. I don't know how in the heck you do that. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and finish this meal. And uh, we'll get back to you and let you know our final thoughts. We just got done. Figure we come outside and enjoy the last little bit of the day when it's actually kind of cool out. So our final thoughts on this quail, what do you think? I liked it a lot. It was good. Um, I mean, I want to try different, you know, recipes for yes. it. So if you guys have any, be sure to leave a comment with an idea of how to cook them again. I um, definitely want to cut the breasts out, wrap yeah. them in bacon. I mean, I have seen that one and that does, uh, anything wrapped in bacon is awesome. So I'm gonna try that one, but yeah, any, any other ideas? I mean, I definitely wanna try frying them. They're good. And see, on the grill, they did get a little bit dry. Mm -hmm. the, the more they cooled off, the drier they got. Yeah. When they were fresh and hot, it didn't seem that dry, but the more they cooled off, they definitely, uh, dried out some but the flavor was awesome that yeah. that glaze was it was good and, it was good. and that that says a lot because i i don't really like those types of of glazes i'm more of just a rub barbecue sauce not really a fruity pomegranate kind of guy <laughs> it's good though yeah it, was... uh, it turned out good and i'm glad because we got a damn ton of them <laughs> but hey guys thank you guys for watching Click that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and we will see you guys next time.